Hey, what's going on, guys? So often we believe that our dreams are dead and that um, there seems nothing to be living for in our world. And I want to tell you guys that we have to stop that. You know, we have to believe in our dreams even if we don't see them. You know, everything is walk by faith, not by sight. Faith is just a little thing that you just hold on to, hope, you know, belief. You know, uh, wanting to get over the top. Um, I, like I said, I don't know how many of you guys believe in God, but I want to make sure I, I reiterate this all the time. God is real, and he's doing his most dopest, most realest efforts behind closed doors. The thing about it is, is that, you know, you're the narration of the whole thing. You direct this whole movie. You direct how this thing goes. And you have to make sure that you remain the main character and you don't fold. You work too hard to be working for somebody else's dreams, to be helping somebody else achieve their dreams and you not achieve yours. You know, when you was a kid, you know, you dreamed a lot, you know. If you didn't, you know, you probably dreamed some as a teenager. Sometimes we went through hardships as a child and we dreamed because that was our escape place. But somewhere along the line, reality hit and we got accustomed to nine to fives and, you know, disappointments and false love. I want you guys to understand is that you you can't you can't quit. You can't you cannot quit. Like most of your most of your enemies, most of the people that don't support you, they're only your enemies and they don't support you because they're watching you. They're watching you. They want to see to make and make sure that you're not succeeding. They have to feel better about themselves. So they're looking at you struggle and looking at you go through these things and hoping that you stay in that moment. But when you rise up when you become more, when you do more, you change the narrative every single time. They don't know what to do with themselves. Give these people these front row tickets to your life. Allow them to see what you're doing with your life. Don't block them. Don't push them away. And I know this might contradict a lot that I have said before, but allow these people to see this. Let, let them understand that you have the heart of a champion, that you have the heart of a winner, that you are so different. There are so many things in life that we try to we try to call, you know take control of and and try to manage. Take control of your life. Take control of your destiny. Take control of your dreams. You know, like God is you know performing deeper work than we any of us can understand that we probably don't even get to fathom to a human mind. We probably don't even understand you know what's going on there and what is He doing. But there has to be something behind everything that He does. You know what I mean? And there was a time where I didn't believe. There was a time where I decided, like, you know what, let me take a step away from religion, take a step away from my belief. And God humbled me really fast. But the platform that I have now that I'm talking to you guys, I want to make sure that every time that I wake up, I have to give you guys some type of gem, some type of realization that you matter. You're dope. Like, there's so much that we have to go forward and, and push for and understand. And, you know, there might seem like there's nothing else to live for. And that's not true. It might seem like, you know, I'm not meant to be happy. I'm only here for other people in their lives and to make them feel better. That's BS. Everybody deserves a sense of happiness. Everybody deserves love. Who are you to be any different to say that you don't deserve this emotion? All of these things matter to anyone. It matters to you. And I want you guys to understand is that you aren't alone. I wake up every morning and I feel like I have all of you guys with me, you know, on my shoulders or, you know, right in front of me or around me. And it's just like... How are we going to change this narrative? How are we going to change this? You know, during the times of distress, during the times of despair, during the trials and tribulations, that's when you figure out who you are. Not during the good times. Everybody's always happy during the good times. You're getting money, you're getting a raise, you're on vacation, all those good times, yeah, of course. You find out your character in the times that you're by yourself, that you're struggling, that you don't know who you are or what you want to do. You find out more about yourself in that time than you'll ever find out about anything else. Life is tough. Life is so hard. But you got this. You cannot quit on you. You cannot fold on you. You have to keep pushing. Because all in all, who else is going to push you? If you failed right now, will anybody remember it? Oh, you remember that person that? Nah. You want to be your own success story. You want to be your own... Prince Charming, you know, Cinderella. You want to go through those hardships and then get to the point of the matter that you survived, you succeeded, you have a story to tell. I have so many testimonies I can tell you guys, man, and I promise you, like, <sighs> sometimes I look at my testimonies and I be like, 
Wow. I get emotional when I listen to certain songs. But God is doing a work that cannot be unseen, that cannot be undone. You got to meet him halfway, you know. You might get a couple of nicks and crannies, you know. You might get a couple of hits and bunch, a, bu a bunch of scars in the pursuit of becoming who you are. But don't shy away from those scars. They made you who you are. They're beautiful in their own right. They have a memory to each scar that you ever felt. There's an understanding behind every single thing that's going on. But the biggest thing of it all is you. You cannot quit. You cannot give up. Do not doubt yourself. Know that you matter and know that you will get over that hump. Know that it's more. We are more. We are better. We are blessed. You up right now watching this video, you're blessed. You know, there's so many hardships and so many other places that we could be at in our lives that are, that are make us struggle and that make us, you know, go through a lot. Think about the people that's over in the third world countries that don't have the clean water or don't have the, you know, the food or the resources or the clothes on their back and things of that nature. Like, if you have a roof over your head, electronics, Wi-Fi, food, faith, religion, you're much more richer than you think. When I was growing up, I was always, you know, taught that if I, if I didn't have money, you know, I really didn't have anything. And not, not from a family household, but societal issues used to tell me, like, yo, you know, you can't live a good life if you're broke. I still feel like that now, but I put myself in a predicament to be of more of financial conversation. But right now, I'm, I'm broke, and I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty okay. My dreams aren't dead. A couple of them died. I couldn't be a Power Ranger, but... There's so much that we could do, so much that we could be. We have to push the narrative. We have to keep going. Look at our surroundings. Look at the people that's watching us. I used to block people all the time. Unfriend people all the time. Like, I ain't got time for this toxicity. I ain't got time for this negativity. I don't want you seeing my progression. And I woke up today thinking, why are you blocking these people? Why are you stopping them from seeing your growth? You want to make a person uncomfortable? Allow them to see that flower that they stomped on still blossom as the biggest flower in the garden. Do whatever. Allow it to stand tall through them all. It's going to be something about that flower that's going to stand out a little bit better. Because it's been through more. The rose that grew from concrete, that's not possible. That wasn't supposed to happen like that. And I want you guys to get that. What are you? Are you the rose that grew from concrete? You've been stepped on, kicked, ran over, rode over. Does that change who you are? Are you not capable of love and not capable of, a, of the better things in life? Nah. You deserve it more. Even more than me. I've had my hardships, I've had my heartbreaks. But to quit on yourself, you owe you that. You owe you more than you ever think. Right now, you up watching this video with me. You are blessed. You are rich. You are more. You matter. God is doing so much work. Like behind the scenes work. You know, we always watch the movies, but we never see the behind the scenes. God is doing his behind the scenes work. And that's where real turmoil and real hard shit happen. He's keeping you together, keeping you molded. That's your job to keep walking no matter what. And you don't need to look back. There ain't nothing there for you. Nope, there ain't nothing there for you. You keep going. You keep being great. Everything might appear to be against us, <laughs> but there could be so much more. I wake up and I wonder every day, like, you know, am I putting my best foot forward? Am I slacking? Am I being better? Am I being more? All I can say right now is that Life has taught me a lot. The biggest thing is depend on yourself. Believe in yourself and never quit. Give yourself a sense of purpose every morning. You'll wake up with a different bounce, a different feeling, a different love. This is the first month of the year. The first month of the year. If you take a couple of losses this month, okay, you got 11 more to go. Months. 11 more months to go. If you keep in that mindset that you won't succeed, you won't get better. Every seed that you planted, you will flourish in 2020. And if you haven't planted that one seed, 
Start today. Change everything today. Believe. Focus on everything. Forget anything else. Forget anything else. Focus up. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. You guys are my kings and queens. You guys are my heart. You know, you guys make this worth it. You guys matter. It's nothing I wouldn't, you know, try to do for you guys. For all you guys that's been hitting me, my DMs, I hope that my messages have been responding to you. Um, I hope they've been pretty good. I hope you can take them on in your chest and really, you know, impactfully take something from them. If you guys watch this video all the way through, I want you guys to tell me when you want me to post my surprise video today. I'm going to post a surprise video again um, of a Japan unboxing, you know, about a big snack crate. You guys let me know, and I'll drop it for you, all right? I hope you guys have a blessed one. hope you guys stay true, stay beautiful, you know. And all in all, this is what they don't see. Talk to you later.